And we're back. Thank you guys for joining me once again for another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we are going to be discussing Cooler in Adobe Illustrator. Now, Cooler is one of the most underused, but probably most beneficial tools. I know you've heard me say this before, but it, it really is beneficial in Adobe Illustrator. But you can find this if you go to your Windows menu option and you go down to Cooler and you click Cooler, your Cooler panel will pop up. Now, as is, I don't have any color themes available. And essentially what Cooler does is it allows you to set up color themes. It's basically like a color system that makes your colors in terms of relevancy for the type of color setup you're going for. If it's monochromatic, dichromatic, you know, whatever, analogous, uh, any of those, it will do it. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how it functions. It's really simple. This is going to be really quick. It's not going to take long, maybe a couple of minutes. So you guys can get in, get your little skill snack and get out. All right. So at the bottom of your panel, you'll notice there are two buttons. One is refresh and the other is launch. Now this one isn't highlighted, so we're just going to ignore this for now, but, and that's because I don't have anything here yet. So we're going to click launch cooler website. it will automatically direct you to the Adobe Cooler website. Now in this website, you'll notice that you'll have My Cooler Theme, and underneath you'll have Color Rule. Now, in the Color Rule section, it just has a bunch of color rules that you can go by, and this will keep your colors consistent with the respective rule. If you're not familiar with what these mean, take the time to look them up. I'm not going to go through them because I said I was going to keep this short. So I want you guys to take the time and look it up. You can Google it, uh, look in a color theory book, or just try and figure them out by the names or what I'm about to show you. Okay, and you can change the actual name of the theme that you're looking at by clicking in this area. And let's name this Low Focus Theme 1. And we're going to keep that as the name for now. And if we have a theme selected under the color rule, we can move our sliders that are in our color wheel and you'll notice the colors underneath the swatches will change also you can select those swatches and you can adjust them independent of one another and each other swatch will change accordingly to keep it with that color rule same thing for monochromatic triad complementary compound shades and then custom allows you to actually just select and change it based upon what you want it to be and not a specific color rule okay so let's go back monochromatic notice how the colors change and uh, you know what I'm gonna add this one as my theme so I'm gonna save that and now I have this set up as my theme and if you hover over them you'll notice the hex code will come up for each specific color swatch okay so now that I have these set up this is automatically going to link back and you have to make sure you're signed into your proper Adobe ID account it will link back to Adobe Illustrator when I'm ready to actually import my content. So now we're back in Illustrator. And if I were to click the refresh button, it downloads the color theme that I just made on the cooler site. So now I can use these swatches as is, and you'll notice they're changing in your actual fill area on your tool panel. Or if I wanted to add them to my own swatches, I can select this folder and then I can add them to swatches and it will add the entire set as is you can't manipulate these because they can only be changed on the site itself because you're using Adobe Cooler these actual swatches are read only so you can't manipulate them you can only do that once you've added them to your color swatches and then of course in your color panel you can change and adjust them according to how you want or you can double click the swatch, open it up, and then change it accordingly. And it will change that one. But you cannot change it in the actual cooler panel itself. So that's pretty much how cooler operates. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, make sure your account is connected. You launch with this button. It'll bring you to the website. You create your swatches. And then once your swatches are set and you've saved them, you come back into it. Adobe Illustrator and you hit the refresh button 
and then your swatches will appear. To add them, you can simply select them and click Add to Swatches. It will then import them to your swatches panel. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you are keeping in mind that you cannot edit these. You can only do it after you've added it to your swatches panel. And then if you have a ton of them, you can also search through your themes themselves to find specific swatch sets. And that's pretty much how you would use that panel and use Adobe Cooler in Adobe Illustrator. It's a basic guide, so you could just run through, figure things out, and get familiar with it if you're into color theory. I'll also be creating more tutorials on the color and color guide options because they work in a similar manner, and I want you guys to understand that as well. So stay on the lookout for that, and we'll probably combine that with the swatches panel as well. All right, so thanks again for joining me, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Take care. Thank you.